the B.C. government has introduced a new bill to protect people against the sharing of intimate images without a person's consent. The province's Attorney General spoke to reporters about the proposed legislation last hour. The Intimate Images Protection Act will provide new ways to stop or prevent distribution and get your images taken offline. It will give people a more effective way to seek compensation for the harm they have suffered. And it will fast track the legal process to determine intimate images are unlawful and order people to stop distributing them or threatening to distribute them. So for more on this, let's bring in the CBC Sarah Galashin in our Vancouver newsroom. So Sarah, how will this work? Well, so Andrew, uh, you know, once passed, this legislation, what we're told, would create an expedited process to determine if an intimate image uh, has been distributed. And we're talking about images, anything from a, a completely nude image to a nearly nude image, uh, videos, live streams, uh, digitally altered images. The Attorney General suggesting that the, the form of reporting would take place in an, an online portal um, and that a ruling would be given by a civil resolution tribunal, um, that the ruling would be enforced by either tr the tribunal tribunal or a justice and the province planning for this to be broad range, uh, in other words, uh, beyond the BC borders and saying that they would use the full power of the courts to enforce it and as well that perpetrators should be put on notice that um, while the legislation has not been passed, once it has been passed, it will be retroactive until today and that as far as financial penalties go, they'll be in line with personal injury law to be determined by a court. Now, BC is not uh, the first province to, to go this route. Uh, there are others with similar legislation, five and all, starting with Manitoba back in 2016. BC, though, is the first to, to, to put in a provision um, to attempt to stop the potential upload of an image, thereby accepting the complaints from uh, those who feel there's a threat of an intimate image being distributed. Among those who are cheering this on, the mother of Amanda Todd. Amanda Todd, a BC teenager who back in 2012 took her life at the age of 15 after years of harassment um, and extortion related to sexual images that she had been blackmailed to provide. It's a story that made global headlines and Carol Todd, her mother, was at uh, that press conference today and here's what she had to say. If she were alive to see and hear us, she would certainly be grinning down upon us and cheering loudly as change is made. This is the dream of helping kids that she always wanted. So Sarah, do we have a sense of how challenging it is to actually scrub an image from the web? I mean, very challenging. Let's just put it this way. It already is a federal offense under the criminal code to uh, publish intimate images without a, a person's consent. Yet in 2020, there are statistics from uh, Stats Canada showing there was a reported 80% increase in reports to police of these sorts of things happening compared to the five years prior. Uh, CBC uh, did speak with the Canadian Centre for Child Protection. Uh, they certainly have a lot of experience with this, uh, trying to attempt to, to scrub uh, those images from the web through their project Arachnid, and they talked to us about how that's going, and I want to play you what they said. Well, we're currently issuing 20,000 notices a day to providers, so we are certainly putting our best foot forward to try and assist in this capacity. But what is actually totally unacceptable is that 50% of the notices we send are on known images that, that those companies have previously removed meaning that those companies have been told that image can't be up there, that there's been some kind of a ruling to say that it shouldn't be, and that somehow it's been allowed to be um, re-uploaded to a site. She applauds what's happening in BC in terms of the effort, but adds that more needs to be done to, to regulate uh, online operators, social media, porn sites, etc. Andrew? Sarah, thank you. The CBC's Sarah Galashin live in Vancouver.